Before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe if you're new. I mean, come on, what are you doing? If you're not subbed to me by now, my content is fire for Transformers news videos, stunt motions, reviews, toy photography, music occasionally. My Instagram and TikTok are all linked down below. And, uh, yeah. Let's get straight to it. Uh, okay, so, haven't done one of these videos in a couple weeks, I think. Um, just getting into the third party, fourth party knock off whatever you want to call it movie masterpiece scene that's been booming the past five six seven years or so um i'm just now getting around to it five six seven years later but um better late than never am i right so uh just got ratchet in yesterday pretty cool figure I haven't transformed him yet um there was one qc issue where one of the eyes were painted and the other wasn't but I figured it doesn't matter because A, it's an easy fix, and B, the eyes light up anyway. It didn't come with batteries because, you know, with the whole international shipping and shipping metal to another country, you know, that sort of stuff happens. But uh, it is something to note, though. But there has been, like, QC issues with all the ones I've gotten. I got... The 2007 movie Starscream as well. The only one that didn't have QC, QC issues was the uh, Dream Factory Bone Crusher that I got last month. That dude was pretty much perfect. Um, but all these are from Wish Toy or Black Mamba or something like that. So, I don't know. Black Mamba's got their QC problems with them. Which I heard is a popular thing with that company. So, uh, they put out great... Masterpiece figures, but the cost is you're more than likely going to get some sort of issue with the figure. Um, my Optimus, nothing paint-wise or, like, actual, like, glaring issues. He just had loose joints, which I'm going to tighten up at some point. I got him a week and a half ago. Ironhide came in uh, damn near a month ago now. Um, major problems with him. Obviously, the whole shoulder issue... Uh, which was with every mold. I had to figure out how to fix that. I got it pretty decent. I mean, it could still pop off if you move it around, but it's not as bad as it was when I first got it. And the screw on the right arm there where where these panels flip around and, and rest on the forearm there, that screw is loose, and that panel... If you don't twist it in with the screw, it just falls out. I don't know what's up with that or how to fix that, but that's crazy. And the first time I transformed it, the head broke off. Now, luckily, in robot mode and in vehicle mode, it locks in, uh, so it doesn't really bother me too much, but still, that, that really sucks. So the main QC culprit out of all them here is Ironhide, and then I'd say Ratchet because... If he didn't have the LED feature with the eyes, that would be a pretty sucky problem. Uh, but then, again, I would just have to paint over it, so, yeah. And then Optimus, all he had was loose joints. But I do want to note, though, if you're, if any of you guys get this figure, plan on getting him. When you plug the gun into his hands, watch out for the thumb there, because um, when you lock the tab in all the way for the gun... Or his axe that he comes with. Um, just be careful when you're taken out because this thumb, for some reason, doesn't move outward. Which really sucks when you're taking out the weapons. So I would recommend when you're plugging, when you're putting in the guns, don't plug it in. Because if, cause he has finger articulation, so you could just wrap the hands around it and it stays in pretty securely without having to tab it in and what happened with me i tabbed it in and i went to take the gun out and it it stretched out the the pin joint on the thumb here and now it's all loose as you can see this one isn't loose because it's not stretched out right here where it connects at the pin but this one it popped off and it stretched out and there's a little stress mark there i've heard that's another issue with that optimus that uh, people plug in the weapons and they take it out. Then the thumb breaks off. I was aware of that, so um, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, but <laughs> I've been rambling on about QC issues and how I'm liking the figures. <laughs> but with the shot anyway, it's 
It's basically just Optimus, Ironhide, and Ratchet, you know, the three elderly dudes of the 2007 team, and 2009 team, too. It wasn't until Dark of the Moon when Q got on the team, but, uh, yeah, just the three old heads, the big three together, uh, chilling in the nighttime, and the light setup, two lights on this side, and two lights on this side. And I basically did like a backlit type thing to make it look more night-esque, as you can see. And I got everybody in a different vanilla pose. Ratchet is standing in his own sort of mannerism. Optimus is standing in that same sort of heroic stance that he does. One leg slightly forward. His body tilted a little bit, you know. And Ironhide with his... Um, hands on his waist like he does in the movies occasionally. So yeah, uh, made sure everybody was posed up slightly different. And camera settings I did mess around with a little bit. Uh, I changed the white balance to more of a bluish tinge for that nighttime feel. And uh, what was another thing? I could have sworn there was something else I had done on the camera. Oh, I changed... The camera mode, for some reason I had it on this setting called M. I don't know what it stands for, but I changed it back to RAW plus L. Um, I don't remember when or why I changed it, but now it's back to what I usually normally shoot stuff in. So, yeah, but <laughs> I've done a lot of talking. Uh, but my favorite out of this bunch, I'd have to say uh, probably Optimus. Uh, I did transform Optimus. This transformation was was pretty simple. Well, not simple, but familiar because I used to have the old Revenge of the Fallen leader, and it was just much more uh, familiar for me to transform. I transformed Ironhide. Uh, the front section was such a pain to tab in, and I did see online that that's an issue that a lot of other people have. So I haven't transformed to Ratchet yet, like I said, but, you know... Um, so far with my KO movie masterpiece experience, it's been good. Um, like I said, the QC issues are, are a bit annoying, but um, I haven't gotten any major problems like something broken or a missing part like what I've seen some other people go through on online. So, And I hope it stays that way. And uh, I got... Movie Masterpiece Jazz and 2007 Movie Megatron coming in. It's the uh, oversized MPF version of Megatron, and I got the Black Mamba version of Jazz coming in, both from AliExpress. And I think after that, I'm going to do... Um, I think I'm going to get either Brawl, Bumblebee, or Sideswipe in these next couple months. Those are the three that I'm aiming at, and then... I'll see if I could squeeze in getting Barricade and Blackout to round out the 2007 cast. Oh, and I would still have to get Frenzy somehow, whether that's the Human Alliance figure or the um, DNA Design upgrade kit for the movie Masterpiece figure. So I don't know what I'm going to do with Frenzy yet, but that's my plan so far. And it's worked out pretty well, you know, all things considered. Minor QC issues slightly major issues you know with ironhide and stuff so but other than that great experience that's my thoughts on these three this, that's the this is the shot that i'm working with here that i posted on my ig which by the way is linked down below like i say in the beginning of every video <laughs> but yeah i've been ram rambling on a lot i guess i'll call this video thoughts on third party movie masterpiece figures and me describing the shot right here so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed me rambling, and I'll catch you next time. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of this video.